Okay, we have a quadratic function, and uh, we're going to do a lot of work on it. We're going to find the vertex, x-intercept, y-intercept, axis of symmetry, domain range, and we're also going to graph it. Okay, let's get started. Let's find the vertex. As we can see, this function is not in vertex form, so it's not easy to figure out its vertex. So why don't we put it in vertex form? and therefore we're gonna see its vertex much easier so fx equals I'm just gonna write this over here okay now we're gonna separate the first two from the three so I'm gonna put a parenthesis around them let's factor out the negative negative and in parentheses we're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 3 on the end, that doesn't change. Now, in order to complete the square, we're going to take this 2, we're going to use half of it, which will be 1. Let's rewrite this. Let's not forget the negative. x squared plus 2x. And now we're going to use the one that we found. We're going to add 1 on the square and subtract 1 on the square. Plus 3 on the outside. That doesn't change. I'm going to come up here. This one equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 1 square. And I'm going to take the negative 1 on the square out of the parentheses. But let's not forget it's being multiplied by an, a negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1, that's going to be a plus 1. So we're going to have the plus 3 and plus 1. Okay, let's clean it up. Negative x, we're going to use this formula to complete the square. Negative x plus 1 on the square plus four there you go we found the vertex form and from here we can use these two values to find the vertex here's our vertex formula from here we can see h and k will be our vertex so our vertex value will be negative one and four I'm also gonna write this over here. Vertex negative one four. Okay, next x intercepts. For this, I'm gonna separate it like that. Let's put the function equal to zero. So negative x plus one on the square plus four. I'm going to put it equal to 0. I'm using this version of it because it will be easier to work with. Okay, let's uh, move the 4 on the other side. So we're going to have negative x plus 1 on the square equals negative 4. Multiply the whole thing by negative 1. That's going to give us x plus 1 on the square equals 4. From here, we're going to have x plus 1 equals plus minus square root 4. And from this one, we can see that x equals negative 1 plus minus 2. And from here, we're going to have our two x's, 1 and negative 3. So... The two x-intercepts will be 1 and 0. The other one will be negative 3 and 0. Okay, we have our two x-intercepts. I'm also going to write them over here. 1, 0 and negative 3 and 0. Okay, let's do the y-intercepts. For this one, we're going to put x equal to 0 
I'm just gonna write the function down right now. Plus four equals y. We're gonna plug in our value for x. So negative zero plus one on the square plus four equals y. And if we calculate this, we can see that y equals three. So our y-intercept will be zero and three. I'm also going to write it here, zero and three. Okay, let's start working on our graph. Okay, let's do our x and y-intercepts. Okay, just as a idea for ourselves, we can see that we have a negative here. So therefore we're going to have a reflection over the x-axis. Just like y equals x squared would be this way. But negative x squared is reflected over the x-axis, reflected down. Therefore we're going to have a similar action happening here. So our parabola will be opening downwards. Our vertex is at negative 1 and 4. So we're going to put negative 1 and 4 will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it's right here. I'm going to mark it real hard so we can see it well. That's our vertex. Now, what do we know about our intercept? We're going to have an intercept at 1 and 0. That's going to be right here. And our other intercept is at negative 3 and 0. So negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. These are our two x-intercepts. And what do we know about the y? The y is at 0 and 3, so it's going to be right here. Okay, so now we know roughly our parabola's shape. It's going to go like this. We're going to respect the points that we found, the vertex. So there's our rough shape. So. For our axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is along this line and this line for us will be x equals negative 1. If, if you take the parabola and fold it along that line, you know, the two sides will match each other. Now let's see the domain and the range. The domain from negative infinity this function will be coming from here, from negative infinity, and it will keep going all the way till positive infinity. Negative infinity, this is positive infinity. So it will come from negative, it will go to positive. So our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Now our range. Uh, this is negative infinity down here. It's coming from down here and it's going to keep going all the way till it's positive 4 and then it's going to start coming back down. So our range from negative infinity all the way till we reach 4. Now is 4 in included or not? Our vertex says that uh, is at negative 1 and 4. So the function is, exists at 4, so therefore we're going to include it. And there you go. We've done all that the problem was asking.